So the first step is to activate is what would be to go to my layer, type L A enter. L A enter layer. And I'm gonna choose my and let's choose this layer. Are you seeing my screen? So I'm, I click two time here to activate this layer. And I click enter. And I close that off, right? Now I'm gonna, first thing I need to do is to set up my drawing limit. So I'm gonna type limit, L-I-M-I-T, enter. And I'm gonna use, the low limit is always zero comma zero. So I'm type, I type zero comma zero, enter. I then type my upper limit is the length I want the paper to be. In this case, I want my paper to be 270 millimeters, comma, 190, enter. Now I must type Z, I must type Z for zoom, followed by the enter key, A for all, followed by the enter key. The Z enter, A enter to bring that onto the screen. Now I can go ahead and draw my, my line. So I type L for line, or I could click on the line icon. So I left click here. The command bar here will ask me to specify the first point. I then left click, I left click here to start the line. I could choose to draw the line horizontal or I could choose to draw it at an angle. I want my line to be, let my line be 55, zero. Well, let it be 70. Seven zero, enter. Sorry, seven seven zero, enter, enter. So this line is now drawn at seventy millimeters long. Now, this <clears throat> this this little icon down here, this icon here, this one down here. Are you see? Are you seeing my? Are you seeing my mouse? This icon here. Click this one to show the line weight thickness. See, as I click this, the line weight thickness pops up. I go back down here, click this, it's gone. So I click here to show the line weight thickness. So that is my outline. No, in AutoCAD is is different. It is different from um, drawing traditionally. So. I want to divide this line into seven equal parts. So I simply type BIV as, a, and as I type the first three letters of divide, you will notice here that divide pops up. I simply click enter, click on this, yeah. It will then ask me to, if you look down here, the command bar is asking me to select object to be divided. Now, I wish to divide this line here. So I left click onto this line, yeah? You will notice the color changes. And if again, you notice the command bar, it says enter number of segments that you want. In this case, I want seven segments or for the line to be divided into seven equal parts. So I'm, I type seven followed by the enter key, enter. And this line is now divided into seven equal parts. But guess what? You will not be able to see the divisions. So to be able to see the points where the line the line divide, we must type a very important command. We must type DDPTYPE. DDPTYPE. Enter. DDPTYPE. Enter. Yeah. What that does, it brings up this dialog box. Currently, 
we have a point as a division, but a point will not be visible on this. So for us to see the increments, we need to change to any of these. In this case, I'm gonna change to the circle, this one. And I'm gonna go down here and set the size absolute, this one. So first I choose the one that I want, then I come down here, set this absolute, then click okay. And voila, my line is now divided into seven equal parts, yeah? See what happened there? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, good. All right. Let's do this one more time. I'm going to draw another line, and I want to divide this line into, in this, in this case, six equal parts. Could someone tell me what's the first step? The first step is to type, click on the line, right? Or I could type L for line, L for line, then enter. Yeah. Again, the command bar will ask me to divide, to specify the first point. So I left click there. I then say, okay, I want my line to be, want my line to be 60 millimeters, 60. I type six zero, then enter enter one more time. So I type enter distance and then enter key twice. This line is now drawn to that, that um, length. Now, we, in the previous activity, we set these point type so we don't need to change them again. So we can now divide this into, let's say, five equal parts. So I first type divide or div enter and see the command bar will tell me what to do it says div select object to be divided so i choose this one it turns blue and down here it is asking me to enter the number of segments that i want to divide us by in this case, I wish to divide this line into five equal parts. So I type five, press five followed by the enter key. And see, we have one, two, three, four, five equal parts. Yeah, very important. All right. We could also do this, also divide a circle into a number of equal parts as well. So here I have a circle. And I wish to divide the circle into, say, 12 equal, that's six equal parts. Again, I type, can someone tell me how, how do I go about doing this? Type B, I, V, yeah. Enter. Same procedure. I left click onto this. I then enter the number of segments I want to divide this line by. In this case, I want six. I type six, enter, and look at that. This is now divided into six equal parts. Uh, well, this, I think these nodes, these are called nodes, by the way. These are called nodes, all right? I think these nodes are too big. So I think I want to reduce the size of them. So I can do that one of two ways. We go back to what? What, what? what is it again? What do we type? D D P E Y P E. Yes. Or point or P P Y P E. So please make note in your book. All right. To change our nodes or to set up to, to make the points more visible we type DDP type, right? 